Nice Friday Shop Talk, everybody. First of all, I'll tell you what I got done today. Uh, I started to polish that BPS HK2, and I started to do it, then I stopped. Okay, this thing has dried. This is the case that I made. See how good that came out right there? Okay, on, on the tans and everything, it's going to show up better. This is my old one. And this is going to hold quite a bit more of my cards. If I can get them out here. This is what I hand out in town. QR code. There's my brand logo. Uh, I also have this plastic one. So when I run out of these, I just hold that up and they click it. Or I got a t-shirt that I wear. Uh, I got several uh, saw grunt t-shirts I wear. And one of them has the QR code on the back. And I'll be darned if it doesn't work. Isn't that cool? But anyway, here we go. This goes right in here, like so. Let me see. This goes in a special way. There we go. Okay, this is going to hold about six more cards. I already put two more in there than what I had before. And you can see it's not that off on size. I did one that was a little bit too big. That's pretty close, isn't it? And I was just able to... Uh, I just took my time, let it dry, uh, piddled around on other stuff, and didn't cut myself. Anyway, by the way, thank you guys for asking about my finger. It's it's just something that happens. It, it's, you know, you do this kind of stuff, you work around with knives, and it was a human error. I was right here on my workbench. I was doing uh, leather. I was doing a video, which I hope I get it out tonight. I got a review on uh, for a knife company. I've already made the uh, the video. I just need to get together with the links in this channel. So, uh, you know, you can check the knives out. But I was doing that and leather work and uh, something else. I had, a, I had a fixed blade knife right here on the side here and uh, just stumbling around. And, yeah, it was sharp. So, and I can't throw right now because I can't grip and I'm not safety reasons. But the cut is four stitches, that's all. But it went right across here on the right on top of the knuckle now personally i read i wish it would have been my left hand but most of all i'm very thankful one underneath here because i can't stand i can't stand a little paper cut on the end of my fingers so i can deal with this uh they wanted me to take it easy for a couple of weeks uh before the stitches come out because it is on the knuckle you know from opening it up but i don't need to tell you guys that you know this so this is uh, four stitches. A year and a half ago, I had eight stitches, and the year before that was six stitches. And uh, two of them were trying to pull a knife out of the sheath. It was uh, too stiff locked. It was brand new. I was doing a box opening in my first throws, and uh, it was just, uh, they were tight. And uh, when it came out, man, I just sliced my fingers and, and putting them back in. And then this this one here was just stupid. It was just stupid. And I, it's just doing too much multitasking. Okay, we got that out of the way. My finger, uh, the case. Uh, another question somebody was talking about the uh, Swiss Tech Stollern. Uh, the clip is seems to be loosening up and breaking off. You know, I did a review on that, and I ended up uh, just making a custom leather sheath. And I forgot about. I've done more sheaths than I thought. I got some good looking sheaths in there. I'm pretty proud of these. Okay, this is one of my first ones and I made the uh, little thing for the uh, ferrule rod right there. And it fits really nice. It's a real, I really love this knife. I love throwing this thing. I really do. But yeah, that's what I ended up doing. Now I've heard some suggestions. People said they glued it in the position they want. I think that would be a good idea, you know. Uh, try that or uh, that's what I would suggest. Oh, doing the uh, the stitching today, this thing cuts down close on the threads. This is my souvenir they sent me home. You know, they usually don't send home sharp objects, but I was wanting in there like a little boy complaining I didn't have time, I didn't get any content up for my <laughs> my YouTube. So they sent, they sent this home and uh, gave me the information on it. But these things, I needed it. This is going to go right here in my Cobalt Mini Toolbox for my leather 
works because this is fantastic. Cuts in there real close. So I got that covered. Okay, Cobra Tech. Cobra Tech's been brought up quite a bit. I want to first show some Cobra Tech knives that I have. Uh, I got a lot more. I just brought these out. I should do a Saturday overhead shot of Cobra Tech knives. In fact, I probably will. I'll wait down about a few more weeks and then we'll do it again. I love Cobra Tech knives. Okay, this one right here is called the Nighthawk. This is the last one I bought from. Check that out, red and black G10 scales with the texture. I didn't do that, they did that. Look at that pocket clip. This is a wicked knife right here. This is the Nighthawk. It's a D2 steel, black tinny finish. Shape of that blade is pretty wicked. When I saw the shape of the blade, I just wanted it. Now I got this when they first released it. I'm on their email list, so I get notified on new releases. Uh, I just saw one fix to show y'all. I had to go through the same thing. Okay, this is the Nighthawk. Okay, cover tech. Give me rest, Joy. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you that. This is the Renegade Tonto Fixed Blade Knife. I went to buy it one time a couple of years ago, and then it was out. I went to do it again, it was out. So I, I had to put me on there, notify me when it's in. And they notified me, went right to it, and I bought it. This is the, this is huge, it's heavy. This is the Cobra Tech Renegade Tonto Blade. This is 440C steel with a satin finish. G10 scales, it is full tang, it is heavy. I have thrown it quite a bit, look at that. I had to quit throwing it because this thing would just tear up my board. Okay, now don't panic. I went to look to make sure I had the specs right on the steel and it says uh, not available right now. So what you do, I, log, I logged in, I got an account going there. So I logged in and something like that, I say notify me and put my email address and they will. This is an awesome knife and this is a Kydex sheath. I'm going by the specs folks, nylon belt loop. And this is heavy, it came with a lanyard. This is the Cobra Tech Renegade Tonto Fixed Blade Knife. Maybe I'll do it up close and personal with that one. Okay, I'm getting there guys. This is the Monarch. This is kind of, see they don't have just all this tactical, tactical stuff. This is super cool. This is called the Monarch. And it's just so classy. Okay, I think this is like 49 bucks. Yeah, now look at this smooth action. Isn't that cool? And look at that blade, isn't that beautiful? This is the Monarch Gray, and I chose it because that satin D2 steel with the G10 scales is just beautiful. Look at your lantern hole, and uh, just smooth action all of them. Cobra Tech is out of Texas. Great customer service. Uh, check out their website, man. I hope they're watching me. I appreciate it, Cobra Tech. Okay, this is the Cobra Tech. What is this one? The Tan, that's the Monarch. Uh, tan Streamline. Yep, Tan Streamline. But this is cool because, see that line right down the middle is G10 scale. There's the pocket clip, the black and tan. And check that out. Now watch these lines, how it goes right down here and right through on the blade. Little things like that I just think are awesome. It's tactical. And again, they all have this smooth action. Every one of them. Now I have noticed, when I first start, started buying from them, uh, they're select, they, they've really grown. They have grown and they're coming out with some really cool stuff, some, some higher up steel, higher ends. These I got like budget friendly, okay? So, they, I noticed Ace Hardware is carrying their knives. Ace Hardware, a couple other places. I got a couple of knife shops downtown, which, by the way, one of them is where that got me hooked on Cobra Tech. It was for my birthday a couple of years ago, and my wife bought it. Here's the case. Your Cobra Tech knives, the, uh, they come in, in uh, the automatics, they come in these cases. The uh, folders come in a nice box. They all have a card for warranty. 
and one that is signed by the technician that checks quality. Okay, I'm really going over time, I'm sorry, but this is the Medium FS3 Black. Okay, I've been asked, they, uh, they've seen my, people have seen my video that they thought, thought it was gray, and I told them, no, I got the black out. Okay, this is an OTF front, out the front. Now, it comes with a nylon sheath, I'll get that out of the way. That's in case you feel uncomfortable about carrying this in your pocket, because it is an automatic, check your local laws. So, there's some laws you can carry it on the outside. Okay, this is, this, I fell in love with this, man. This is high... Alloy, aluminum alloy handle, the steel. And when I first held it in the knife shop, I thought it was rubber. It has that kind of texture, man. It's cool. Look at the jipping. You got a glass breaker, which is cool because you can go on Cobra Tech and I can get a screw. You can get accessories. You can actually change the blades out. Yep. They have a tutorial on there on how to do it. You open it up, you can change your blade out, put it back in. It has that safety feature where you're up against something. If you push this open, it will not punch your throat. That's a safety. That's a, that's a nice loophole. But you get this thing locked out, there you go. Now, this is D2 steel with a satin finish. But what I did, I blued it. I blued it. Gun blued it. Yep. Isn't that cool? Now, I carry this. It's in my rotation. Hope Cobra Tech doesn't mind that I blued it. But yeah, I blued it. I love this knife. Anyway, you could have a screw put... You, you could order a screw where you want to remove that glass breaker if you want. But I kind of like it because you could do a non-lethal self-defense approach. You know, you do that on, your, on somebody's collarbone, inside their arm, inside their thigh. Just do it on top of their head, the temple. Be careful of those two places. But I tell you what, that will stun them. That will stun them, and you, you were able to knock them and then get the hell out of there, okay? So that's the Cobra Tech FS-3 Medium Black, okay? It's not, see, I see what he's saying. He thinks it's gray because of the light. It is black. That is a blackout, okay? So I appreciate y'all's questions. I hope I answered you. Uh, I got to get back inside the house. Y'all have a great Friday evening and sog out.